hanging out here with the Flip for Mac guys tell us from Telestream, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about what they do. Hi, my name is Ben Ferentino. Um, I'm with the uh, Telestream crew here. Um, in a nutshell, Telestream has been doing video encoding now for the past 10 years. Um, they have been the leader in the market with Flip Factory products on the PC side and the broadcast workflows. Um, what we're here today at Macworld to do is talk about our Mac side products. Um, most commonly, we're known for our Flip for Mac WMV, which allows you to play WMV video through QuickTime. Um, <clears throat> beyond that, we've uh, expanded our product line greatly uh, with the addition of um, our Pro components, which allow you to uh, take MXF material into Final Cut um, directly from the K2, XD cam, what have you sources. Also, we do um, a product called Episode, which we recently acquired from a Swedish company named Popwire. And uh, they are a pro coder type tool, which is a very powerful transcoding tool to allow you to deliver to multiple formats. Um, also today, we're showing off a pipeline, which is a hardware box, which is a network encoding tool, um, which we have sitting over there on the desk, and I'll show you guys in a minute. That's pretty much what we're here to do today. Is there anyone else doing what you guys do out there? We, yeah, but you know. The only company doing the um, encoding and stuff for Mac or? I mean, you're talking to a blonde in Macworld here, <laughs> so I don't even know why why that is that difficult thing to do from PC to Mac. True, true. Um, absolutely. Uh, yes, there are other there are other companies out there. Um, one of those companies is uh, Sorensen Squeeze is a very commonly used one. Um, there's also Autodesk Cleaner, which was bought by Adobe um, recently, and those two are you know, big players in the consumer market and both have their strengths. There's also Apple's compressor, which a lot of people wonder why use your product when uh, Apple you has their own. Exactly, and exactly. Why would you? <laughs> well, uh, we had format support is what we like to say. And also, um, you know, in some testing, in some fields, we do things stronger. Now, Apple obviously does their codecs very well. Um, actually, we work with the Apple Enterprise Sales Channel very closely, and Apple actually has us on all their price lists as an addition to compressors, so we don't see ourselves as competition, but more of a- Like a brotherhood. Kind of thing. Exactly, more of a complimentary. We add format support, they, you know, they, they sell pay. everything and make billions of dollars, <laughs> you know. Well, it looks awesome. So, um, how much does does this episode, soft, it's software, right? <laughs> yep. How much does it cost? Uh, it starts at three ninety five. dollars uh, It's hundred dollars for Flash Eight option, and the Episode Pro desktop is eight ninety five. And then we also have a server side solution, which uh, then again ups the price range. Well, sounds good. Um, so if you're doing any kind of like video, like as we are right now, um, we'd want this. We'd want to go to you guys. Absolutely, you should come to us every time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this is the uh, episode desktop application which we spoke of before. Basic episode is over here on the left side we have uh, bookmarks which is uh, basically links to movies that are available on your hard drive and uh, network drives. Um, compression settings which is kind of the um, meat of episode where you get to set up your templates, get to save templates. And you can see I just unfurled our templates. Um, we have templates that we set ship with the product which are available by format and also by workflow. Create a new template as simple as going up to file, a new setting, and then now I'm inside our settings editor. We do VC1, uh, Video 9, um, Audio 9 obviously, right. but we, as you can see we have a lot of different options available to us in this program. Um, in terms of video, we have all the usual standard options. Uh, these are actually similar options that are in our uh, Flip for Mac WMV components for a quick time. Um, more importantly than that, we have lots of de interlace. You have resize filters. Um, you have various field order, which comes important in some certain shooting, especially with DV and stuff, which is bottom. Um, frame rate control, also very important when you're delivering to the web, 15 frames, or doing some NTSC kind of things. Um, just a lot of depth in terms of video encoding tools available to you. Same with audio. Um, you know, changing your sample rates. A uh, really commonly used one is channel mapping. We've got input of eight channels, but we need that down mixed to a two stereo channel. Now I can just say here, I need these channels to be on this track, these here, yeah. good to go. Um, we also allow you to add in some metadata that you can uh, kind of define inside here. Um, if you have something that can be streamed, um, WMV already comes in for streaming, but in the case of QuickTime Movies, you can add some stream data. 
Um, this is metadata for our episode engine side of things. And this is just a setting description so you know what you're doing. Uh, simple, save it. We'll just save this as a WMD for synthesis. Save it. It appears over here in our compression settings. It's as simple as going to my job batch, finding myself a source movie, dragging it on here, clicking it, drag and drop, press the play button, and it goes to the destination folder that I've set up there.